Well, the United States has long been known as the land of opportunity, and that is exactly what our next guest found as a Ukrainian refugee entering the U.S. back in the 90s. Karina Krantz, thank you so much for coming in, and same for you, Jennifer Rizzo Choi from the International Institute of Buffalo. Karina, do you want to start off by sharing your story about coming here and why? Sure. Um, thank you for having me here. Um, I came here with my family as refugees uh, back around 1995. Um, and we came here for a chance to have a better life. And um, with no English, not a lot of money in our pockets, and we had to leave everything behind to um, start a new life here. I was very young. and. Um, my family put me through this, uh, we went through this institute, the International Institute of Buffalo, who assisted with getting me into school, um, getting us food stamps, uh, somewhere to live. I remember we had a translator, an interpreter through the institute that took us to Lasertron. And <laughs> I uh, got to experience what kids got to experience in America. Um, and it was incredibly eye-opening and um, just life-changing. Absolutely. And you you can talk about this, Jennifer. This is what the International Institute of Buffalo does, right? You take people like Karina and her family, and you really help them integrate and get a, a fighting chance to make it in, in this country, right? Absolutely. Karina is a tremendous person, and it's a great story. Um, and it's a, there's so many stories like Karina's. She is a successful businesswoman today. She can tell you all about her awesome business. She's married with a kid. She's been contributing to the community. And you know, this is all because her family was able to come here, have safety and freedom, and, and live a regular life, the life that was interrupted for them when they were forced to leave their homeland. And unfortunately, in the case of Karina, there are so many Ukrainians that are coming today that are experiencing what she did as a child all over again. And so to have her step up and say, I want to give back and I want to work with you, has been so awesome for us because she put on an awesome fundraiser last year. We're doing another one this year. And it's a great way to just tie it all together because you may be a refugee when you get here, but you become an American and you become a successful American, which is what Karina is. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about, I know it's sometimes hard to brag about yourself, but I want you to brag. You're the success story. Can you tell us about, she touched on it, your businesses and, and being married and being a mom here. Um, sure. So um, I own Filled with Love Buffalo, which I make uh, organic cupcakes and they're all cored and filled with a cream. And um, we are rolling out Bubbles and Bakes Buffalo, which is a mobile bar that can come to your weddings or events. Um, I also assist my husband. We own a landscaping company, J. Kranz Landscapes. So I have my hands uh, into the entrepreneurial spirit. And yeah. I really enjoy it. And um, having the opportunity to be able to do that here has been wonderful. Now you are taking your success and giving back into where you started. Tell us about the event that's coming up and how you're giving back. Sure, so uh, this is the second We Stand for Peace fundraiser. We had one last year and the community um, came through with the outpouring support and the love and we had over 175 attendees last year and we also incorporated local small businesses with all different cultural backgrounds to sell their products. So this year, uh, the fundraiser is on Sunday, May 21st. Um, it is at Soho again this year. Thank you to Jay for letting us uh, have this at Soho again from 12 to 4. And um, all of the proceeds go directly to the International Institute of Buffalo in support of all of their programs to helping people that come into Buffalo to have a life here. Um, there's going to be a 50-50 raffle. There are silent auction, basket raffles, uh, businesses to shop with, open bar, DJ. I really wanted it to be a fun summertime event all in support uh, of this program. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story and then turning the leaf over and giving back. That's what we call throwing the ladder back, right, to support the people <laughs> that come after you. And Jennifer, thank you so much for what you continue to do with the uh, International Institute of Buffalo.